Hey guys, it's KJ48, and welcome to a brand new RimWorld Let's Play. This is Alpha 10. Alpha 10 just dropped. This is going to be Season 5, and we're on Episode 1. And I'm going to go over some of the ideas for Alpha 10, some of the major uh, parts of the update before we get started. So let's take a look at this. Um, they have a new joy system. Colonists want to have joy, which means anything that lets them stop working and enjoy themselves. Uh, they've added joy sources. You could basically, um, you, they could like do stuff like stargaze or lay around or go for a walk. Or you could like build them like chess sets or billiards and stuff and they can use that. It's basically like recreation time for them to get away from working to improve their moods. Uh, they've also added an outfit system, new outfit manager system added. You can now design outfit outfits. Uh, and assign them to colonists in a central interface. Colonists will then independently work to find the best apparel possible given their outfit and their current season. Um, they will automatically switch out damaged apparel for better apparel or poor quality apparel for high quality apparel. Um, I'm not too familiar on how this works yet. I did play this game the other day on stream uh, right after the update to try to get an idea, but I didn't get into the outfit system yet. But it sounds like it's going to be a lot more... Um, easy on us where they'll go and grab stuff like if some if they start getting the negative debuff from being upset they'll go grab a piece of clothing that's better that's not tattered that's higher quality so they're not so upset uh, they also have a timetable system uh, the timetable system is basically a schedule hour by hour for each colonist you could tell them exactly what to do sleep work recreation whatever and um, we'll go over that in game there's also some other miscellaneous uh, uh, and bug fixes and stuff. I will link the uh, the update in the description below if you want to take a closer look at it. Um, so let's get started with our game. So here we go. I've set up three colonists that I kind of like. Um, I'm not going to read their names because I'm going to basically name them after uh, people who leave comments. Uh, don't ask to be named. Um, I'll just pick people randomly. But uh, I'm going to go over my colonists now. So we have this guy who's a good constructor. He's also uh, got some good melee and shooting abilities. He's a good crafter. And he will also be our cook. Um, his food poisoning chance is not as low as I'd like it to be. It's 1.8%, but I think it'll get better as his cooking skill goes up. So, you know, we'll have to be careful and uh, be careful and take a look at that. He's He can't social or clean. He's a careful shooter, a jogger, and a teetotaler. Um, T. Toddler? Is that what that is? Teetoddler? That doesn't sound right. I'm not sure what that word is. I'm, I think it's teetoddler, but I can't really tell. Um, basically, he likes drugs. <laughs> He's a drug addict, I guess. Let's take a look at this. Hold on. Um, Doug adh adhores to the idea of gaining pleasure from chemicals and avoids alcohol and drugs. Oh, okay. So he doesn't like drugs. Okay. Okay, this is after the fact, and I actually looked it up, and the way you really say that word is teetotaler. All right, so let's take a look at this dude. He's um, incapable of none. He's got, this is the drug addict, chemical fascination. Uh, green thumb, uh, he's good at research. He's really good miner, and he's good at medicine. His base healing skill is 103. Really good character right there. And then we got this dude who's incapable of none, bloodlust, green thumb, and heat tolerant. Uh, he is going to be my grower. His growing skill isn't that great yet, but he does have a burning passion for it, so it should level pretty quickly. And he's also got really good social. All right, so I'm going to pause the video here because uh, if I try and load the game, uh, if I try and load the game while Fraps is running, it will crash, so I'll see you in game. Okay, and here we are. Um, not the greatest starting area in the world, but not too bad. Um, I am seeing a good amount of steel, at least on the surface here. Uh, looks like there's a lot of steel right here. Um... Yeah, so I am seeing some steel. Looks like I have a little area inside. I could kind of maybe make a uh, death trap right here. I'm not sure if enemies will spawn here. I don't think they will, but I'll probably wall this off here. I'll make this into a kill zone. Although, this damn mud is going to be in the way. And I don't think there's anything you can do with mud. So, yeah, I'm not quite sure how we're going to do this. Let me, uh, let me go to one of these uh, plan thingies. Yeah, see, it says you can plant stuff there, but it doesn't really help because you can't. Let me see if you can make walls right here. Yes, I can. It looks like I can make a wall right across here, so that's good. Okay. So we can make a wall right across here, and that will work, and then we can make a kill zone right here. Although, I don't know how far the turrets are going to go. If the wall's right here, that means the turrets would have to go... Um... Oh yeah, I could put the turrets right up here. I could put a line of turrets right here. And then I could put a... Oops. 
<laughs> I could put a line of turrets right here with the sandbags behind them. Um, yeah, that might just work. And then I could put a line of turrets coming down here. And then a line of turrets. Yeah, yeah, this will work. It'll it'll barely work, but I think it's going to work. Um, it's not a terrible starting area. We don't have any geothermal generators that are really close to us. But what I'm, I do see one right here. So I mean, uh, steam geyser. Sorry. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to dig out an area through here and have a line coming out to here and have a steam, have a geothermal generator here. They shouldn't attack it um, because it's not really something they they focus on. They always come after the main part of the colony. So I think if I if I make a wall through here, make a little hole through here. Uh, have a line coming through here to give me power and then I wall this off they shouldn't try and get through that wall because there's going to be an opening if there's an opening here they shouldn't try and break through a wall in here eh, we'll see we'll see about that all right well let's get started all right so I've got a lot of useless mud area which is really annoying so what I'm going to do with the useless mud area is uh oh you know what for now I'm just going to ignore it let's um Let's set up some orders to start mining into the side of the mountain right here. Yeah, that should work. We'll set up some orders for that. We will make a, a stockpile zone right here. And we will make a dumping stockpile, I don't know, like right there. Uh, we will unfor we're not going to unforbid the silver because we really don't need to be moving the silver right now. Uh, we will unforbid the steel and the wood and I don't see any food I see some food over here but I'm wondering if it like if that's our food that kind of sucks if it is um, oh boy I don't see any food in our area that's kind of well actually speaking of food that reminds me I always forget to start a growing a stockpile thing um, not a stockpile sorry I always forget to make a growing zone and I make I now make a growing zone in a very specific way I make my growing zones based on sun lamps so that will be where my sun lamp goes. So we go the growing zone. It doesn't show the growing zone. Um, so the growing zone I think can go one, two, three, four, five. I think it can go five over to the side. It could reach till there. No, four. One. You know, let's get this out of here. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to set up a growing zone that's going to be based on um, where my sun, where my sun lamp will reach so right there it means i can make a growing zone that's one two three four five right yeah one two three four five now you could have the sun lamp right in the middle of one of your one of your farms but i'm not going to do that just i don't know because i'm kind of i want my farms to look good and it won't look quite as good if i do that all right so all right so it can go over five how far can it go up It can go up five. Yeah, I think it's a five by five, actually. Yeah, five by five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's a five by five. Okay, so what you could do is you can set up a zone for your growing zones and go five by five and then five by five. And that should be good enough for the sun lamp to hold both of them. There you go. And you can also make more farms to the north and the south of the sun lamp. Um, the two, these two farms will be for food. And then the ones on top and bottom could be for, like, you know, cloth could be one. And then maybe the bottom one could be for, for uh, healing items. And that's the way I'm going to make my farms. So this will be potatoes. And this one will be corn. Okay, let's take a look at our overview. Um, oh, we haven't let our guys land yet. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, let's see what we got here. Doug, let's take a look at you. You are a really good shooter. You're a nine of shooting, but you're also a good melee. You're a six and you're a five. So, you know what? You should probably be our melee guy just because you're the best melee guy. But also, you're the best shooter. We'll, we'll have you with melee. You can have the pistol. And you can have the rifle. Oh, there's my food. That's why I didn't have any food because I didn't let the, I didn't let them land yet. Okay, so let's take a look at our manual priorities. You can see right here, uh, after the update, we have uh, you can see the little uh, fire thingies um, showing you who has burning passions for what. Uh, right here, we have the timetable thing I was telling you about. Sleep is in blue. 
anything is in gray. Work is in, I don't know, like a yellow. And Joy is in a, is in a, a pink. Now, my idea of how this would work is, all right, they will work. If, if, if they're in the hours of the gray period, they will work unless their joy meter is low. And you, they actually have joy meters. Now, let me show you that. There you go. So they have a joy meter. And I'm thinking if joy represents uh, the need to do something pleasurable from time to time, note that repeating the same task uh, of activity makes it less effective. Okay. So I'm assuming that I'm assuming that if they're in the gray period they will work unless their joy meter gets too low and then they will start doing joyous activities I had someone on my stream yesterday swear to God that the best way to do it is to make them work every hour except for the last and force them to do joy on the last hour this is what the person told me on stream to do he sounded like he knew what he, knew what he was talking about um no copy paste paste so he sounded like he knew what he was talking about. So we're going to leave them like this, where they'll work every hour of the day except for the last hour, and then do joy stuff. And we'll see if that's the way to go. Uh, we're going to be playing around with this. I don't really know exactly how this works. I mean, I know how it works, but I don't know the intricate details of how it's going to work. Um, we also have outfits here. We're not, we don't have any outfits yet, so we're not going to get into that. Faction, world, history, and statistics, that's all the same. So we're going to go to manual priorities here. We're going to put everyone to firefighting, you know, the drill. Patient and doctor. Beck is going to be our doctor. Let's make sure Beck is the doctor. What is your healing skill, Beck? Base healing quality 26. That is not the doctor. That is not the doctor. Why did that say it was? It should be. Why is Beck the doctor? That's awful. No, Bell is the doctor. Bell, what are you? Base healing quality. Wait. wait. Oh, they have crypto sleep sickness. I was like, wait, what happened to their healing ability? All right, <laughs> yeah, they have crypto sleep sickness. I was like, he his healing ability wasn't 66. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to make you the doctor. And we also need a warden, 11 of 20. Yes, you're the warden. All right, uh, we're not going to have anyone hunting just yet. Uh, we do need a cook. Who is our cook? Yeah, Doug, what's your cooking poison chance? It should be 1.8. Uh, 1.8. Okay, Doug, you are the cook. Not that we have anything to cook yet, but... Alright, so you'll be the cook. Uh, they will all flip switches. That's fine. Um... Oh, we have someone who can't construct, or... Maybe they cannot. No, they can. They just really suck at it. Uh, we do need a miner. Who's our miner? There's our miner. So, we will put your mining to... Three, oh, uh, we need our grower. Five of, yeah, that's our grower. All right, growing is number two. Put construction on everybody. Growing is number two. Mining is number two. And, okay. Uh, what else am I thinking about? Plant cutting, we don't really need plant cutting just yet. Uh, all right, do your thing, guys. All right, so while they're doing that, we are going to set up to cut some trees. So let's give them some orders to chop some wood. It's good enough for now. We don't need a we don't need a ton of wood. Um, I do want to. I I want to cut through here quickly because there is some stuff over here. I'm going to want them to grab. So I will also have them mine right through here. We should probably have two miners, but. Do we have another miner that's any good? I hope so. This person's got a passion for it at one. This person doesn't have a passion for it, but they're at six. All right, let's have you mine as well. Two people mining should be good. Okay, here we go. All right, so he was plant cutting. He's not plant cutting anymore. That's not that big of a deal. Um, who would be the best hauler? Um, well, you're the miner. What are you doing? You're the grower. Why don't you haul after the growing's done? I don't see anything else that's, yeah, that's really that important to him. Let's have him haul. Okay. This is going to be a two-lane hallway coming up here, and that's just going to start our in-the-base, you know, system. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's make that bigger than a two-lane thing. 
Let's just make it like this. So we have a place to stay for the first night. What time is it? Ooh, it's 79 degrees out. Damn. It's getting dark already, so they're not going to have time. Let's just put down some sleeping spots. Okay. All right, they should be going to sleep. They're sleeping out in the rain. That can't make them happy. Check out some of these uh, things I can make now. I can make uh, chairs. Uh, I can make... I can make uh, a chest table. How much is a wooden chest table? Not that much. I'll make a wooden chest table when I have some room inside this uh, this area. Make this a little bit bigger. That should work. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, the whole joy system is pretty interesting. Um, we just got to keep an eye on them because we don't need them flipping out. Their joy looks pretty good. You can see right here they've redid the whole mood thing. You have joy, rest, food, beauty, comfort, space. It's pretty good. They're not happy they slept outside or on the ground. They're in a, you're in a little bit of pain. What are you in pain for? How's your health? Ew. I didn't know I, made, I got someone with cataracts in both eyes. Hmm, that doesn't seem right. I'm pretty sure. Alright, uh, Beck, we need to take a look at Beck. What are you? Oh, you're the social person, okay. I don't think cataracts in both eyes is going to really hurt a social person. Although their shooting skill probably isn't that good. Um, let's take a look. Yeah, they're heal- they're not- they're not a healer. They're crap. Um, let's see what else we got. Yeah, this person kind of sucks, actually. I wonder if we can get them some bionic eyes or something. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, this person kind of sucks at everything. Sculpting. Research. I don't see anything about... Uh, like, social things. Like, trying to recruit people. So, I don't know. That person kind of sucks. But, that's alright. What are you going to do? Alright, let's take a look at you. You are fine. You are medicine. Okay, let's see what your medicine skill is now. Okay, basic. Okay, so they had crypto sleep stuff, so that's 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 fine. All right, let's speed this up. Yeah, we got to keep an eye on Beck. We need to get some bionic eyes for that dude as soon as possible. And I don't know what you could do about frail. Um, for the torso, I don't know what, what you can do about that, but he kind of sucks. I didn't pay a hundred percent attention to him. Um, honestly, he's only really good at social. I can't imagine his shooting skills. I don't. I can't imagine he's going to be able to kill anything with cataracts in both eyes. But he's also a grower, so maybe it, maybe it doesn't affect his growing skill. Do we have a growing thing here? Plant work speed, speed at which this person sows and harvests plants, thirty-seven percent. This guy sucks. This guy really sucks. I, I messed up with him. I wasn't paying enough attention. Yeah, what are you going to do? You can't have like all stars at all places. You know what do you, I mean? I take a long time picking my guys. You know, probably way too long, actually. Okay. Let them do their thing. Alright. Do we have a I thought we had a hauler, right? Um, who's our hauler? They're growing. Yeah, he's growing. He's taken for freaking ever. Because he's a blind gimp. There he goes. Now he's hauling. No, he's eating. Great. Oh, he sucks. He sucks. I hate him. Alright, now that we have some room... Oh, what's this? Silver ore. Very nice, very nice. Alright, so now that we have some room, we're going to go to the production tab and we're going to go to... Oh, yeah, let's build a research table. Um, Alright, let's let Doug make some room here first. I don't want to, I don't want to, like, bury the silver ore. Yeah, Beck is really going to hurt us. Because, like, I'm sure he's good at growing. Um, let's take a look at his, uh... Let's take a look at his plant working speed. See, he's pretty good, but, um... The manipulation is what's killing him, and that's because of the, uh... 89% importance, and it's only six times 63%. It's just terrible. He's terrible. Terrible. 
We'll have to find someone to replace this gimp ass. Maybe we'll use him as a hauler. Strictly a hauler if we could find someone that grows food. I mean, his social ability should still be good. Uh, cataracts and having a bad back is not going to hurt your ability to talk to people. So. Alright, you guys. Get that out of there. The workbench in. That in there. Alright, they're still mining. That's fine. Oh, he's going to mine from the other side. Ugh. We need someone to do some construction. All right, so they're mining, they're mining. He's hauling, I want him to haul. Let's have this person stop mining and start doing construction. We'll put the mining up to three and the construction down to two. There we go. Did I make this out of steel? Yes, I did. Ugh, idiot. Wood. I don't know why everything in the game is like um, baseline steel. Like you think it would like make the cheapest one the baseline and then, you know, let us take it from there. I don't know why it always goes to steel. It should be wood. And if we change it, then it's not wood. But it should be wood until we change it. Right, do that. That. And that. How are we doing over here? Almost there. Alright. This can actually come out more even. Like that. Alright. Now we need a research project. The first research project I'm going to do is going to be stone cutting, of course. Alright. And let's see who our research person is. There we go. Ooh, our research person is also our miner. That's not good. That's not good. Do I want stone cutting that badly? Ooh, that's a tough call. Um, we'll let this person do the research for the first... No, we probably shouldn't. Ugh, alright, do research. We need that stone cutting. But we also need more room in there. We need to get a nutrient paste dispenser up as soon as possible. Yeah, you know what? Researching is not that important. We need to get this stuff mined out. <clears throat> And what we'll do is we'll cancel this mining job for now. It's not that important. Uh, New Montreal sounds good to me. Yeah, this needs to get mined out. This needs to get mined out. Get to work, people. You know what? You can even cancel that. And let's do some hauling. All right. Okay, we're getting a lot of steel up there. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right, guys, so that was my timer. So we're going to call this one here. That's going to be it for episode one. We'll see you next time for episode two. Uh, really quick. Um, no, nah, that's okay. All right, yeah, that'll be it for episode one. We'll see you next time for episode two. Till then, take it easy.